Hey, ladies and gentlemen, hope all is well. Well, for this realtor today isn't well, shout out to one of my subscribers who sent me this. Now, I already did one. Ray Ray robs the bank. This one here, Ray Ray's cousin, Ray Ray robs the realtor. Shout out to Melinda Parrish for sending me this. And it's a teenager. A teenager. I guess today was the day. He decided to wake up and throw his life away. Young and dumb. Everybody, it, it, just, it amazes me. Everybody's so slick, it won't be me until they get got. Then when they're sitting up in that cell, realize your life has been turned upside down to a living hell, then you get it. Young and dumb. Where are the parents? And ask yourself, is this his um, first crime? Not because if you notice, they start off with small things and small things and they get away. You know, no one's going to tell. I think a lot of cases, the parents look the other way and it escalates. So when they get that major time, I have no sympathy, none whatsoever. A young kid, a young fool in the making. We just, I just did a video, Queens, some degenerate robbing an 11 year old and attacking her and stole the house keys and $20. Now we have this one here. Young people making dumb decisions. They are throwing their lives away. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, clip. Fair use. Here we go. Captures a teenage <clears throat> suspect steal a realtor's car moments after that teen robbed the man at gunpoint. Welcome to News 2 at 10. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Bogus. News 2's Chelsea Vineforce spoke with the man about those terrifying moments and has the dash cam video you'll only see on News 2 in this crime tracker alert. In the realtor community, we have to utilize these lock boxes here. Uh, this is a century lock box. This Nashville realtor who didn't want us to use his name says he was unlocking this unit for a showing on Porter Terrace in East Nashville when someone put a gun to his face. He uh, said, give me your keys. I'll shoot you. I'll expletive shoot you. The suspect took off with his 2020 Toyota RAV4. The realtor ran for help and filed a police report, remembering an electronic device in the stolen car might help track it down. The iPad had pinged in a location in North Nashville the night of the incident. And so we thought, well, let's just go see if they threw the iPad out. But when they got there, they didn't find the iPad or the car. That is until they turned around to drive home and saw the stolen vehicle on the other side of the road. So we followed uh, behind and called the cops and were able to get some clear footage of the guy uh, with my vehicle. Dash cam from his partner's car captured this teenager getting into the stolen Toyota. Metro police identified him as 18-year-old Deontay Gooch Blacksmith, who's been arrested for at least seven other robberies in Davidson County and multiple aggravated assaults. Wow. I want justice and I want our community to be, to be protected um, and some type of rehabilitation to, to be done and, and some efforts to be made to try to help him see that there's more to life than crime. Police arrested Gooch Blacksmith Tuesday morning. The realtor's message to others, be aware of your surroundings. This happened out of nowhere. Uh, you know, I think they were watching and just waiting for a vulnerable moment to take advantage of me. In Nashville, Chelsea Vine for News. Wow. Prior arrest. Where are the parents? And don't forget, when these young people get arrested by the police, you do know that they call the parent to come and pick them up. They're calling someone to come and pick them up. How do we get to this number? That many arrests, where the heck are the parents? And then something happens to more, he didn't do nothing, my son. I'm telling you, I'm not for all this old, this leniency. We need to go ahead and, uh, you know, there's too many stiffer, uh, uh, stiffer sentences. Obviously, they're not stiff enough because these, these young dummies don't get it. Where's the mother? Miss Laquisha Bonquifa, where are you? La TT, where is that Dusty at? Where's Dusty Sr.? Don't be surprised. Again, check out the video, Dusty Jr., Dusty Sr., I would not be surprised that his father behaves in the same manner. 
would not be surprised at all. And look, he said, I'll shoot you. Uh, at this point, they need to bypass the juvenile system. And just, just you know, they're so violent. Uh, I say, let's go ahead and send them in there with the, with the adults. Put that message out. And you can still say, hey, this is what's going to happen to you. You understand? And somebody's still going to be stupid. They're still going to think, oh, it ain't going to happen to me. I'm, I'm slick. No, 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 man. I, I've been getting away. You've been arrested seven times, so you automatically know that you're not, you're not the brightest. If you were the brightest, then you wouldn't be getting caught. You've been arrested seven times, and you're still going at it. I hate to say it. I don't see any redeeming qualities when they're like this here, and I just have no sympathy. They need to be off the street. And people say, oh, they have insurance. It don't even don't matter if they have insurance. Let it be your ride. Yeah, they pay the claim. The insurance will go up more than likely. And you have to go and buy another vehicle. What if that person's credit score has gone down? Even if it hasn't, you got to pay another down payment. Even if you have to pay another down payment, you might can just sign and drive. You have a whole new bill. And it, goodness forbid, if you're sitting up there and you still owe and there's a balance, yeah, they're more than likely tacked that onto the new car that you had planned on buying. Again, Dusty's. They love drama. They bring trauma. Look at the financial implications. It's too much dust in the nation. And, and somebody look at him, oh, they didn't have to do that to him. But do they ever stop and say they didn't have to do that crime? I look at some now, and you wanna, they want to talk about, oh, you're always pointing this out, bashing. Again, these are not actors. Do you see them on a little roller thing with the little film going around? These are not actors. So no, it's not bashing. It's exposing reality. It kills me. You want to bash the message and they're saying, hey, guys, here's what's going on in the community. You need to really, 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 really be careful. You need to really be careful. So no, no, we don't, we don't want to hear that. Well, for those men that feel it's bashing, why don't you bash the behavior? How about we try and do that? Why not bash the behavior? Why, why not bash the behavior? You don't want to do that. It's that same old thing. People want to keep things quiet. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to call that out. Who gives a darn? Call it out. Somebody needs to know so that maybe they, they can avoid this. Be more alert. A lot of people, I'm seeing that it's like, are you really serious? But are you bashing that behavior that they're exemplifying? You, you're not doing that. It's like saying, oh, yeah, that happened. Oh, well, you know. It occurs. Just let it go. Uh-uh. It needs to be called out. And I think it's really, it's pretty much a person, in my opinion, you are really a coward when you see this and you're worried about the messenger. No, it's not bashing. It's reality. Again, a person goes to rob a bank, or like this idiot right here and the one in the Bronx that attacked the 11-year-old girl and stole the house keys and her $20. Oh, that's bashing men. No, that's calling awareness to it. But the Dusties want to stick together. They don't want to bash the behavior. So tell me, why is that? Why aren't you bashing the behavior? But you want to bash somebody who's speaking, saying, hey, God, everybody, be careful. Here's what's going on. It's bashing. No, we're facing the painful reality. And the reality is, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be careful. Ladies and gentlemen. See this man right here? He just robbed another grown man. He said, I'll shoot you. So maybe we should have some leniency and maybe just wait. Maybe wait until he shoots somebody and then do something. I'm glad he's been captured. Throw the book at him. I, he's a teenage. Throw the book at him. They know I'm not buying that argument about brain development. They know right from wrong. Throw the book at him. I have no sympathy because why? It's getting out of hand. And if it's too much overcrowding, then guess what? Stack them deep. Feed them cheap. Again. I vote for water and rice cakes. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share, and I am out. Please stay safe.